Now, Dr. Miller, could you do us a favor? On World Cancer Day, one of the real initiatives that we're doing around the world is we're working on um, dispelling the biggest myths. A common myth that people have about cancer is that cancer is a death sentence. Is, is that a myth? What do you think? Yes, that is definitely a myth. Um, I've seen that in my own private practice for years. We still hear that. It's sort of the fatalistic view that people often get that if I get cancer, that automatically means I'm going to die. That's some of the barriers that we find where people who will know there's a problem but are afraid to come in to get checked because they don't want to be told that they have cancer. But we know that nowadays, if we're able to diagnose the cancer as early as possible with all of the wonderful treatments that are available, we actually can cure many cancers. And we also know that some of the cancers, such as cervical and colorectal cancers, those cancers can actually be preventable. If you get your colonoscopy and are found to have polyps that are not cancer and those polyps are removed, you can prevent yourself from that development into colon cancer. If you get pap testing and you find those changes early on the cervix that have not yet become cancer and they are treated, that can be a case of preventing someone to go to cervical cancer. Now, there are going to be some cancers that are going to be aggressive, and even when found, treatment may not be the best and it still be very aggressive, and so there will be some people who will die from cancer. But we know that we can do a lot. I mean, when you look at survival rates, we look at stage, which tells us how the extent of a cancer. We can actually see if you catch it when it's small and hasn't spread, you're talking a difference between a 95% survival for some cancers all the way to when it's spread down to a 40 or 30% survival rate. You're just spot on. You're absolutely right about this.